Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, a video request and it's dealing with MDT 2013 and just deploying stuff. Uh, I received this email and uh, it's it's actually a one question email, but he wanted me to know something. The first part of the email, it was not kind of true. So I want to show you guys that it's not true. Okay, so he basically figured out what the problem was. He, he was not able to deploy an operating system. It kept on giving him problems. So uh, he basically says, I figured it out. I appreciate your help, but you know what? I found something that haven't seen one person reference when giving tutorials on MDT. Believe me, I searched the internet high and low when I was trying to figure things out and nobody mentioned that you have to go into the install task sequence and then choose the install operating system and then point it to the new image you just created. Maybe that should be logged under the common sense, but damn. Okay, when you create a task sequence, task sequence already gives you an option to pick your operating system. You do not need to get into your install node and get into your install operating system uh, parameter and then pick the operating system because when you're creating your first task sequence, it gives you an option to do it. You don't really need to do it at all. I think someone was messing around with you and changed it. And because they changed it, uh, that's why you was getting the problem which I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that that concept when you create the task sequence it's there it's automatically there the only way that you would change it I, the only way that you change it if you want the task sequence to deploy something else uh, when you have a capture whim image regardless if you have a cap, capture whim image uh, when you're creating a task sequence it allows you to pick your captured whim image right and then the second part of the video is he wants to, he wants to, can you make a short video on how to add a wallpaper to the task sequence, which I love this. I love this part. And so let's get to the first part. So let's get into my virtual environment and, uh, within my task sequence, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new task. Okay. I'm going to call this test, right? And let's call this test. Right. Let's go next. From here, it's going to be a standard client task sequence, regardless if you captured something or you just imported an operating system inside the operating system node. You can click on next. From here, this is what I'm talking about. You, this is where you pick your custom whim image, your golden image, or an imported operating system that you already imported inside your MDT server. So I'm going to pick any one of them. Click on next. I'm going to click on next. I'm just going to write gibberish right here. And the admin password, I'm not going to specify because this is only a test. Next and let it finish. Done. You're done. So let's double click on it. Going to go to task sequence. And from my understanding, he said no one actually point this out. And I think the reason that no one actually pointed it out because it already automatically does it for you. I don't think you need to go into the install node and install operating system. The WIM image is already picked for you during the creation of the task sequence. I think the... I think someone was messing around with you and probably changed it to give you a hard time, but this is how you do it. Okay. So that's one. Now the real video request is, uh, how do you change the wallpaper? Now the wallpaper settings is actually, if you right click on your MDT deployment share node, go to properties and you go into win windows PE, your custom background bitmap file is actually located here by default. You're going to get that nice little gray MDT logo, which I'm going to actually show you where it's at in the C drive. So we're going to go into our C drive and double click C drive, go to program files, Microsoft deployment toolkit, and we're going to go to samples. Now you're not going to see old and you're only going to see a background dot BMP file. The only reason you see two of them is because this is the new one. This is the one that I just created. So I'm going to double click on the old one. As you can see, this is the old one. And I'm not going to double click on the new one because I want you guys to see it during deployment time. So once you make the modifications here uh, and you place your bitmap file in here, you're good to go. Not yet. Now, the way that I do my custom bit, um, background is I take the original file, open it up in Photoshop, make the modifications there, save it down. Because again, the, the bitmap, because again, the BMP file the background file already has the dimensions that MDT is accustomed to. It's going to work regardless of what resolution, right? So you pick that file, modify that file, save it down to that particular name. And then you come inside this folder, rename the old one as a backup, and then just drop your new one in here. Okay. Once you do that, you don't have to do anything in here. Okay. Press okay. Now the final thing to 
for make, to make your new custom background to work is you got to right click update your deployment okay right click update your deployment once your deployment is up to date you're good to go now if you're using WDS I recommend go inside your WDS go inside your boot images node and replace each one of these right once you replace your boot image you restart your services make sure it's up and running I like to reboot my my uh, WDS all the time every time I make any kind of changes I like to restart it for some reason I like to do that I don't know if that's best practice at all but I like doing it once you do that go out in the wild and deploy so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys uh, I'm gonna start this virtual machine I'm gonna press F12 like a madman there you go F12 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 there you go I'm gonna pick the 64 bits it's gonna boot into the 64 bits operating system and if everything works well our custom background uh, has changed okay and there we go guys our custom background image for our deployment how cool is that I know Deadpool the Merc with the mouth again uh, again you go into the program files uh, Microsoft deployment toolkit samples you grab a copy of that background dot BMP file you drop it into your nice photo editor uh, make the customizations the way that you want it save it down as the, the original name as background dot B M P uh, go back go back into your MDT server go into that specific location rename the background file to an, to like old and then copy and paste your new one into there make sure you update your deployment share if you're using WDS replace your boot images and restart your WDS and then try it out and it should work for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments and concerns, leave it at the bottom of the comment section. Do not forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.